Hey guys, my name is JumpSelects, welcome back to some more Let's Play Resident Evil 2. And in the last episode, we had our first encounter with Mr. X in this scenario. And we're going to try not to get killed by him today, so let's do that. Okay, he's still standing there, if you could just get right by him, there we go. Now, where we want to go is... No, see, we went the wrong way. Great. Good job, Justin. Go up, Leon. Okay. So, we need to go back to the star's office because we left some stuff in there. That's vitally important. So, let's do that. God. Make it... Make it so much noise. Okay, let's get in here, and let's pick up everything we can get from here. What's really important is that we get this right here, because we're going to need that. And then, um, there's also a flashbang, which would be very helpful for getting past Mr. X, which would be somewhere, and he's coming over here right now as we speak. Uh, equip that, and then we want to get, oh, I don't have space to grab the damn metal. God sakes. So we're going to fix this back in. Okay. Um. Yep. He's definitely over here, guys. Guys, when you pay attention to the sound... Of where he's moving. You can really figure out where he went. You just have to use your headsets. I'd recommend... Nowadays, everyone has a pair of headsets when they game. But wearing headsets allows you... Helps you know which way Mr. X went. By using your sound. Which is pretty cool, you know. Highly recommend that you guys do that. Now, we're going to need this. And I'm going to keep... No. Drop the knife real quick. Just for now. Just for now. And then I'm going to combine these. I said I'm going to combine those. Now, I found out that blue herbs give you a defense boost. I did not know about that. I learned that when I was playing through Claire A's scenario again. So, there's that. Okay. Now, um, I want to hold this. And we got to get this. And the one from here. So, let's do that now. I'm going to take a guess now that Mr. X uh, heard me because the music's playing. What's the answer to that other puzzle, though? Do I have it in here? Hold on. Uh, it should be in here somewhere. Yeah. Uh, 9157. <gasps> you idiot. You went the wrong fucking way. Gunpowder? Sure. Where's that zombie at, by the way? Oh, there's two in there. I can't do that puzzle. <sighs> Jesus Christ, there's zombies everywhere. Jesus. Alright, guys. Um, We gotta do the lion puzzle. Which is up here. And there's some ink ribbons there. Alright, take them. Alright. There's just zombies everywhere. That's what's making this... A lot harder. Alright, put this in. Good. Jesus. I just wanna let Oh, zombies. I just wanna let you guys know that when I do finish Leon B, I will be taking on Leon A and Claire B with King Gatovic. When I get the proper equipment to allow me to do that to where I get the proper equipment to allow me to record this. So that King Katovic could watch me at the same time. Um, Crown, Fire, Bird. That's kind of the plan for that. When eventually we finish this scenario. I'm going to play Cleon, Leon A, Claire B. What King Katovic will be joining me for that. So that'll definitely be awesome. When we eventually do that. But right now it's just me and myself. And yeah. 
So let's go down here and use this down here. Can I get by her or is it too short of a gap? All right, and put this in. Okay, now we just have to go get the other one from upstairs. And we should be good. He says, <laughs> he says we should be good. Um. Oh, God. Hello, Mr. X. Do you know I'm in this room? No, you don't. Okay, good. No, he doesn't know. Go, 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 go. Get this. That's another thing I gotta tell you guys, is that Mr. X, if he doesn't know you're in the room, he'll walk away. That's the other thing I forgot to tell you guys. Now, let me see. How am I getting past this time? All right, hold on. Fucking hell. Oh my. That was my fault, honestly. There's two freaking zombies in here. All right. What? Are you kidding me? Oh, and there's the who it is. Look who it fucking is. God sakes, dude. This game does. Oh, God. What the hell? Use it, use it, use it, use it, use it, use it, use it. Oh my god. Leon, get in here. Can he come in here? Okay, he can't. Alright, good. Jesus Christ, guys. Oh my god. Oh, thank God for ink ribbons, right? <laughs> Shit. All right. So now we have a problem where we're on a bad difficulty, state of health. And I don't have any more health after this. God sakes, dude. It's all good, guys. It's it's all good. You know, if it gets bad, then I'll replay through this to get back to where I was. If I, ha if, if I have to, I really don't want to because I want to, you know, keep things nice and smooth. But, you know... Nothing just seems to go my way, honestly. Now, we're going to have that fight with William Birkin down here. The reason why I'm coming down here, I'm not actually going to go to this area. Wait a minute. Wait, oh, never mind. I thought that was, I thought that was the door that led to the sewers. That's the door that leads to the sewers. Now, is there a grenade down here still? Yes, there is. All right. I want to use this here. So that I can get whatever that is. I don't know what it is, but we're going to get it. What the hell is that? Long barrel. Okay, good. That's for the Magnum. Okay, good. Take this back. We're done with this. Cool. Okay, guys. I'm going to do a separate save. Because I got I get the feeling we're going to fight William Birkin very soon. So, um, yeah. Uh, that's going to be great. So, let me go upstairs. Make a separate save. Like, you guys saw how I just managed to just limp away from zombies and mr x like that was that's just what happened there all right i'm gonna take an ink ribbon put that away and what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna go scavenge for equipment because i know that there's still i know that there's still stuff in the police office obviously that we didn't pick up yet so i'm gonna go do that separately i am doing separate saves i think the second save was where we all started so i am doing separate saves just in case but i mean yeah oh man oh boy okay guys i'll be right back two three we can't do 208 we can do no we can't no we can't okay never mind 109 we could do and 106 we could do and 102 okay 
Is Mr. X still here? Because I don't hear him walking around. Oh, man. Guys, I'm so screwed. I already know, like, how screwed I am. Just because, like, I don't have a lot of ammo, really, and a lot of health. A lot of stuff we didn't do here, so. One, one, zero, six. Okay. One, zero, nine. Okay, and then can we do one, zero, one? I don't think that will count. Okay, so we can't do that. Can we do one, what about one, zero, four? Cause I, I could have sworn there was more stuff to get. One, zero, five. What about one, zero, six? <clears throat> well, okay, so some already unlocked that one. One, zero, seven. I think that's all we can really do. Okay, handgun bullets, good. And, uh, film. What's that one say? This one says... Okay, cool. Now... I'm assuming this one's locked by a other type of... Uh, probably the, um, what's it called? That key we don't have with uh the spade key no the club key is probably locked and then this there wasn't much else to get wait yes there was wasn't there something it says that, there were, that we're missing something from the stars all stars office interesting i mean i think that's really all there is probably get on with the game honestly so i just noticed that this thing right here doesn't lock behind you like in a uh, clear scenario which is good actually did Mr. X, like, just run off somewhere? We're going to store that for now. I, I think that's the answer to the book puzzle. I'm not sure. So we're going to store that for now. I'm pretty sure we're going to be going up against, um, what's his face? Um, what's his face? Do you want Magnum ammo? Do you want handgun ammo? Do we want to save Magnum ammo until the final boss fight? I don't know, actually. Um, let's make shotgun ammo. I think that's going to be more useful. Okay. Can you combine the two? Thank you. And then we'll take a hand grenade. And yeah, we'll take the Magnum too. Because I know we're going to probably be fighting William Birkin. Probably, he says. I don't know if we are. We also got this to combine with that. Okay. Can, can Leon. Thank you. Cool. Lightning heart. Good, good, good. And all right. Cool. So... That makes this stronger. So we're going to put that on the bottom there. How does that look? Wow. Is he trying to get in here? Son of a bitch. Can he get in here? Oh. He can get in here. Uh, God damn it. Who said you could come in here, buddy? Are you kidding me right now? All right, I'm going to go, guys, because I'm not going to stand here and wait for these zombies to get in here. So, yeah, guys, let's go ahead and do this next fight, which I think is going to be up against William Birkin. I'm not sure what the game's going to throw at us, but what I can tell you guys is that this has not been easy. And it's, it's never easy playing on the hard difficulty. It's supposed to be a challenge, which is what I like about it. So, Leon, why, why is your head turning? Wait, what's going on? Does that have any effect on us? Are we fighting William here? Or I don't know if we're fighting William or not, but we're gonna, we're gonna continue on. So let's go here and move this out the way. Oh, Leon's strong enough to move it, but Claire is not. And Claire is weak. Oh, hi. Yeah, I like how Leon's like, what the? Leon, you should probably kill it. Yep, we're definitely fighting William. Oh, God. Now, his weak point is his eyeball, guys. Like, I like how he says the same thing as Claire. Like, Leon, you think you could be a little bit original and not be like Claire? 
So we get pick up magnum ammo. That's oh no. Did we pick up magnum ammo or did we already have? I think we already had that on us. Is he changing forms? I hope he's not. I really hope he's not. Alright, let's pick up a hand, the bullets. Now I've learned, guys, from playing this game. That the best way to deal with William is to shoot him in the eye. The grenade launcher for me and playing as Clara really didn't go too well. Now, thankfully, we have two grenades, actually. Hold on. Can I get by him? Yes, we can. Cool. I gotta shoot him in the eye. Shoot him in the eye, guys. You gotta just shoot the eyeball. Oh, God. Now, if you move fast enough... You can get by, William. You do, you do, Leon. Right there. Right there in the eyeball. Okay, he's mad. He did not like that. Oh, yeah, he did not like that. Oh, do we have a knife? Do we have a knife? Yes, we do. There we go. Try using the magnum on the eyeball, see how that does. Oh yeah, probably gonna be very effective. Oh. Oh, he did not like that, guys. I'll tell you that much. Oh! Wow. That was easier. Probably because Leon has better weapons than Claire. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Somebody's watching me. What makes you say that? <laughs> oh, man. So, yeah, guys. In my opinion, I feel like Claire has... Sorry about that, guys. Um, In my opinion, I feel like Claire has not as good of weapons like Leon. See, because they compare Leon and Claire's weapons. Leon gets his regular handgun. Claire gets her handgun. And they both find two different handguns. Oh, no, 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 no. We're not done checking down here. Both Leon and Claire get a handgun. And both their handguns are mm, pretty good, you know. I'm not going to... It's not really about their handguns that I'm going to talk about. It's about their actual... It's about their, like, actual, like, I don't know. Um, What's it called? The, the powerful weapons that they get. So Leon gets a shotgun. Claire gets a grenade launcher. Leon gets a magnum. Claire gets a submachine gun. Okay, we got everything here. So when you compare the two, right? Leon and Claire. I feel like Leon just has better weapons. I mean, he gets a magnum. You're better at killing William using guns than actually using the grenade launcher. Because if you shoot Leon... Uh, I don't know if it's just me and maybe you guys can prove me wrong. But I noticed that when you play as Claire shooting the grenade launcher at, um, what's his face? William? It has no effect. The grenade launcher has no effect on William. Maybe it'll, it'll, like, it'll like, stun him, but it's not as effective as taking, like, a pistol or a machine gun or shotgun and shooting him in the eye. Like, if you shoot his eyeball, like, it's his weak point. You know? And I didn't even shoot at William with the shotgun. I mean, with the magnum in the eye like I did a couple times but then I shot him in the face with a magnum and that was pretty effective but in my opinion I just think that Leon gets better weapons I just think Leon just gets better what we better weapons shotgun magnum like come on like that's awesome but you know I mean Claire's machine gun is pretty cool but like I don't know I need to, I need to save actually oh there's an item box here thankfully all right cool my other problem is, is that I can't even use my regular handgun because we're not finding handgun ammo. We're finding um, ammo for this gun, the M19, which is kind of weird, but, you know, what can you do about that? So, you know, what's the point of even upgrading the Matilda? I mean, look at all this stuff that I got for the Matilda. We got this, you know, we got this, but, like, I can't even use the damn thing because I'm not finding handgun ammo in the first place, so it's like, What's the point, you know? But, I don't know, guys. 
Uh, there is some ink ribbons here, so I'm going to take those. Okay, so I'm going to save here. And next time in Resident Evil 2, we're going to go into the parking lot, which I'm assuming is we're gonna, where we're going to encounter our first character in this game besides, obviously, Mr. X and Claire. So, yeah, I know who we're going to see in the parking lot. So, with that being said, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and share. Smash that subscribe button for more, and remember to watch out for more uploads from Gemselects. And I'll see you guys next time.